In this example, we're going to look at how you could publish a membership directory using Catbase and either InDesign or Quark Express. First of all, in our example database, we've set up a couple of tables, contacts and members. Let's have a quick look at the members table. In here, we've got basic information about each of our members, obviously their name, their address, or their email, um, and stuff like that. And an important thing to note here is the entry type. Now this is a choice list, you click on here and you can choose an entry style. So this one is a basic, which means they're just going to get the free basic listing, which just has information in it set in a plain style. Uh, another choice is bold listing, in which case they'll get the basic information, but it'll be set in bold. Um, they can have a display ad, they can have a logo, a semi-display. Um, you obviously can change these options any way you like and, and put whatever choices you want on there. Okay, now we've got um, categories, so each member is in at least one category, and in fact they can be in any number of categories, this one's just in one. We've then got some contacts, and again you can have any number of contacts assigned to each member. And we've got a description field here which hasn't got anything in it. So that's our basic information in our database. Next thing we did was to set up some publishing style sheets and these tell Catbase what data you want to publish and how you want it all formatted and organized and sorted and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about that right now we're just going to go ahead and publish the uh, membership directory and then you can look at this in the trial database if you want to. So we've got data in there, we've got a publishing style set up then I set up a publishing project a few publishing projects. Here's one for example and in this one we're just going to publish the electrical category. So I've got a publishing step here and we're using a set of records called electrical which is basically all the members that are in the electrical category and we're using a publishing style sheet called by category and we're going to publish to InDesign using the XTags plugin. So that's that. So now we're all ready to publish. We've got our data, our style sheets, our project all set up. We're ready to go. So all we do is click on the publish button and choose our project, which is this electrical category for InDesign. And where we go. So Catbase has now published our information. If we switch to our InDesign layout, let's just move that down. And I'll go to the file menu and choose import text with X tags. And there's the one I just created. So there we go. InDesign has imported all of our data and formatted it as required. Let's zoom in a bit and see what we've got here. So first of all, let's just move that over a bit. First of all, we've got everything sorted by category. So the top level category is electrical. And under electrical, we've got a number of subcategories. So these are all in the houses subcategory. So this one obviously is a basic listing. Um, he's just got his details in a plain font. Name, address, phone and email and website. Now this one here has paid for a bold listing. So his name appears in bold and in addition to the basic information he also has all his contacts included. Now Fred Services, they have paid for a display ad and there are various ways you can publish your images. In this case we've decided to set display ads as unanchored boxes. So that means that this can be moved around on the page however you like so you can do a bit of um, designy stuff with it. And on the other hand, uh, let's look at the next page, it's been bumped over. Here we go. This one Sanders services, they've paid for a logo ad. So they get their logo which comes uh, ahead of their company information and that is in uh, an anchored picture box which means that if the information above it moves around it will always stick with their with its company name. And similarly this is what we've called a semi display ad which is basically a text ad in a little box and again that is an anchored box so it will always stick with the floor company which is the uh, company that owns it. So those are just some options for publishing. Um, in the next part 
I'm going to show you a different version which publishes the information in a slightly different way. Okay, I'm going to publish my member directory again, but this time, instead of sorting them by the categories that they're in, I'm going to sort all the members by county and then under each county uh, alphabetically by member name. So I've set up a project called Members by County for InDesign. So I'll just publish that. There we go. And I'll switch to my InDesign document. And I'll import that using the um, place option because I'm not using X tags for this project. So it must be that one. Okay. So as you can see, it's sorted all the entries by county and put a nice county heading at the beginning of each group. Then we've got our entries all basically styled in the same way. But here's something interesting. Now, I have told it to create hyperlinks for the email addresses and the websites. And so it, it, when they were imported into InDesign, it created these hyperlinks and set them all up. And uh, then when you, if you publish your directory as a PDF document, those will become live links. And in fact, here's one I did earlier. And you can see that these links are all active links to the email addresses and the websites. So that's quite a handy feature. Um, what else should we look at here? Right, the um, notice that some of them have a web address and some don't. And with Catbase you can tell it that if information is missing that you don't want to publish, then just leave out that complete line so that you don't get empty lines of text within your publication. So there we go. Now if you want to see how all these uh, things work, you can download the trial version of Catbase Directory Publisher and that contains this database that we've been looking at and these example um, page layout documents so you can see how it all works and have a go yourself. In our example databases we're just giving you an idea of what you can do with Catbase. You can take the example databases and modify them to suit your particular needs. For example, you can modify the tables and fields anywhere you like. You can rename the tables, you can add new fields, you can delete fields that you don't need and you can modify the properties of any existing fields. And once you've done that, you can set up your own data entry forms using the form design wizard. And on this form, you can delete fields you don't want, you can move fields around, you can add new fields that you've just created, and uh, of course you can resize them and move them around and use various tools to line them up nicely. You can create your own tabbed pages and put whatever fields on them that you want to. So you're in complete control over the setting up of your own database.